Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to make a simple matoke recipe and this is all that we need. It's going to be a very simple recipe for making your matoke and we're going to add some peanut butter and some coconut milk at the end. So I'm going to introduce all the ingredients and then we'll go to the cooker and make our matoke. So first of all I have my matoke which is already peeled. I like to pre-peel it and then I have my pureed tomatoes. I just made this in the blender. Then this side I have ginger and garlic paste. I have some peanut butter, some red onions, and for the herbs I have dry curry leaves, I have thyme and parsley. For the dry spices I have turmeric, paprika and coriander. Remember that matoke is a very plain, it's very plain, doesn't have a lot of flavor so it absorbs flavor like a blank canvas and that's why we want to build it up with all this. Actually one of the reasons why I don't like eating matoke or green bananas is because usually when you make it without infusing enough flavor it's very blunt and it doesn't taste nice. So when we infuse all this flavor into it as a blank canvas it's going to absorb it and we're going to enjoy it. So let's go and cook. So here we're going to start by putting our oil first. Yeah, when it's hot, we're going to add onions. A red onions. And then we're going to add our spices here. I like to add my spices in the oil. That makes the food more aromatic. So turmeric is going also to improve the color of our finished matoke. It's going to look more sweet. Then we're going to add some paprika for a little bit of heat. And then we're going to add our coriander. So we are going to wait for our onions to cook a bit. I really don't wait for them to get totally brown. When they're just translucent, I'm good to go. I'm going to add the other ingredients. So at this point, I'm going to add the ginger and garlic paste. Then because I like my matoke to absorb this flavor, it's at this point that I'm going to add matoke. So you lower the heat to let them soak in all the spices and the flavor slowly without hurry. I'm then going to add my peanut butter. Just 
just take your time to make sure everything is nicely mixed. In low heat. You're then going to cover this and let it simmer for a while until the matoke is cooked and soft. Then we'll finish up with the coconut milk and the herbs. So we're going to cover it, let it simmer on low heat, and then we're going to come and finish it up with the coconut milk and the herbs. Few moments later. Okay, it's been a while now and our matoke is almost ready. So we're going to add our final ingredients. So we're going to add the herbs. And finally, our coconut milk. You can use coconut cream if that's what you have. That makes the soup remain thicker, but I like mine a bit, not too thick. So this is our final dish. And you let it simmer for about one to two minutes. And it will be ready. We have completed our recipe and this is our final product. Please go ahead and try this recipe and share your feedback on my Facebook page and Instagram page. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and leave us a comment. Thank you so much for watching. Always remember, if you have a vision, add some passion. I'll see you in the next one.